Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic movement script. We're just going to do movement in the forward direction, backward direction, left and right. So, uh, don't worry about this stuff. We'll just create a script called movement. And I'll be making another video on this later. Just want to open it. The site's open. Don't worry about this stuff either. So here we got our movement script. We don't need this here, but we can leave it. It's up to you. We're going to create one variable. It's going to be public float walk speed. Or actually, let's go with movement speed. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, we don't need any start variables. And all we have to do is make a few if statements. So if input uh, get get key, um, we're gonna have a sprint too. So we're gonna start with a sprint. Kiko dot shift left shift then transform dot position plus equals maybe we should do dot no okay plus equals transform dot transform direction Then you uh, type in a vector 3, which you can write before or after, dot forward, or you can write it like that, which would be, um, as you can see here, 0, 0, 1, times time dot delta time times movement speed. And you'll see why we need the movement speed. But since we're doing a sprint here and that's not included in the movement speed, we can add uh, another thing to multiply by and let's just say 2.5. So if you could imagine the walk speed of 4 miles an hour, if you go 2.5 times faster, which you have to put the F for float, um, that would be 10 miles an hour. But, oh, very important. Type two and signs, input.get key w. So w and shift have to be pressed at the same time. Now we do an else if statement, input.get key w, and when you put get key instead of get key down it runs every frame if you just do get key down it runs one frame and 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 then put an exclamation mark which means not so basically if it's false um, input dot get key key code dot sh left shift So, <clears throat> if, uh, if it happens to be stupid and not see that you have both of these keys and then run the uh, next line of code, it will not, you know, it won't run because it's not true. Transform, uh, transform, or transform not, oh my gosh, position plus equals transform dot transform direction vector three dot forward times time dot delta time times movement speed and then the last thing we're gonna do if you walk backwards so input get key A 
or S. Success. We're doing a WASD based uh, movement. And since the else only runs if the first one doesn't run, like if, it's, if this first uh, if statement isn't completely true, then it goes down here. And if this isn't true, then it'll test this. And if we're getting our S key down, then we want to um minus minus equals transform not transform direction vector three dot forward. Wow, I wrote it differently. Times time dot delta time times movement speed it's bothering me now forward so this is our sprint this is our walk and this is our walk backwards which later on we can uh, we can make a character and add animation to it and whatever and add it to the code um, but I'm assuming if you want to do this you want to be able to do it at the same time as walking to the left or to the right so we'll say if input dot get key uh, a and since there's two keys we're going to be comparing against each other right now. Uh, if you press both at the same time, obviously we don't want it to do either or because they just work against each other. So, and not input dot get key B transform not position plus equals transform not transform direction vector three dot left times time dot delta time times move speed time not delta time I believe is the time between each frame so else if input dot get key d and not in put dot get key a transform dot position minus equals since we're not going to go to the left we're going to go to the right because these on the right side of your hand transform not transform direction vector 3 dot left times time dot delta time times movement speed now there's one problem with this uh, this is kind of based on frame rate because this runs every frame so what we want to do, we want to change it, change it to fixed update, which runs every so many seconds, which uh, it's not full seconds. It's like, uh, I don't know exactly. I think it runs um, probably 50 times a second or something like that every 0.02 seconds. I don't know for sure. But this you want inside fixed update. Um, later when we do player rotation, you do not because it will look choppy. But it looks pretty good uh, when you're doing movement. So this is great. Now we need a floor. So we'll just create a basic floor. Plain. Uh, let's make it 10, 10. Perfect. 
and we'll make a material for it just so you can see better. No, actually, it's fine. We'll just change to the scene camera and we'll make a capsule because the colliders for a capsule I think is better. So we'll put that at one. Got a capsule collider. I'm sure this one has a collider on it. Yeah. Perfect. And just because we'll name this player. Hello. There we go. That bothers me. Ground. And then we'll drag our movement script onto the player. And it's down here. And I think uh, when you set it up like this, it's uh, 0 0.03 is a good number. Either way, just save it. Uh, again, don't worry about this stuff. It's for a different script. And if we hit play, Uh, oh, it's working, but that's just way too slow. We can adjust this, so we'll make it 0.3. <laughs> now he's going to fly off the map, watch him. So we're watching right here, position Z, I'm pressing forward. Wow, that's still really slow. Put this over here so you can see better. Okay, okay, he's moving really slow. Maybe we'll just make it one. I didn't. Doesn't really work in the project I was working on earlier, but whatever. Wow, he's moving really slow. Two point five. Now we're good. But you can see, I press A. He goes to his left. Because Z would be forward. Press W he goes forward. I press S he goes backwards. We press shift. He doesn't go any faster. But if we press W and then press shift. Or if we press shift and then W. He sprints. So that's perfect. And later when we add rotation. Um, it's going to be based on his local position. Not really world space. So oh. Didn't put gravity on him. Anyway, so that's perfect. We'll add to it later. See you guys in the next video.